first of all, the kids are amazing, A. B, the kids are amazing, and C, the kids are amazing. There's such an energy and um, a hopefulness, you know, I think, I think the thing that keeps bringing me back is sometimes when, you, when you've been in the business for a long time, it, you start to get used to the same thing, and all of a sudden you watch these really cool, fun, hip, fresh faces coming out who are interested and curious and, and eager to get started, and uh, it just fires me up. I mean, I'm totally amped right now. I, I want to sprint. Seeing Hoda having been successful and just having been rejected so many times and still bounced back, you know, with all the bad headlines and all the sad things and all the people telling us, you know, journalism's a dying field, you'll never make money, and even just being a woman in journalism. I just think that seeing Hoda was just this, like, hopeful experience. I feel like Hoda was trying to tell us, no matter what our passions are, to make sure that we do follow those passions no matter how slim our chances or you know how ridiculous they may be to anybody. I really liked what you said about how you know you can't listen to people when they say what your odds are. You're one person so your odds shouldn't matter because like even if, if you're if it's one in a million you are that one so you can't really like think about it that way. I just thought it was amazing how she enforced into our heads that we could get knocked down and not to give up and never stop believing in what we want to do and that you only need one person to believe in you to take you the whole way.